What up, everybody? And today you're about to see one of the wildest Mutt Squads games I've ever played. This guy has got an amazing team. We actually won a couple games prior to this. But man, this game was an emotional roller coaster. My hormones were all fucked up. I was going crazy. The one thing I did not do was throw the controller, which I usually do. <sighs> Starting off the game, it's it's just crazy. I always like do a sigh for some reason. I don't know why. But you know, we look like we've got a touchdown here. And look at this bullshit. I hate that shit. Bruh, what the fuck? Where'd I do that at? Where do you do that at? And that Tyrod Taylor, that dude sucks so much cock. I'm about to discard that guy from my team. As, yeah, he fumbles. We're not going to be able to chase him down. You already know it. But, yeah, he sucks so much cock. But the thing is, when he rolls out and gets, like, a 10-yard gain of a scramble, I get a little bit turned on. So, you know, it is what it is. That's life. Um, yeah, you guys are going to want to stick around until the end. Because it's just so wild. I do end up punting the ball here. I was playing pretty conservative this all game, this whole game because this dude's the lineup was so good. We got Rondé Barber, 93 overall. We had Richard Dent, I believe, as we get the pick there. Um, he also had the he had the Bobby Wagner. That was a 91 overall. This was this was probably the one of the first partner pairings that I've got where I was actually happy before the game. Usually, I'm like he's got. Like, his highest overall is in the 85, and I'm like, oh, I have to play with this guy. But his team was actually way better than mine. And those 93 overalls cost so much this year. I have no idea why, to be honest. They all cost at least, like, close to a million. Now, this is one of the tightest games I have literally ever played in the Mutt squads. Usually, one team get ends up getting blown out. The way it works, though, is you can't score too many points because the quarters are shortened to, like, three or four minutes, and it's accelerated clock. So people are just running and gunning the whole time, but you know I played it a little bit differently and it it had been working. I got like three or four wins in my squads today. Now that I think about it a little bit more throughout this commentary, I'm seeing how many bad balls Tyrod Taylor's throwing and how like little value he's providing when there is a pass rush. So I'm thinking I'm gonna start that 89 overall Aaron Rodgers again. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Comment if you're happy or not. I don't even know. Like, it's so tough. I don't know why they make everything NAT. I don't know how many NAT cards there were last year. Like, in Mutt 17. We, this is, like, the first year where there's NAT. You should comment down below whether you like that fact or not. I'm not really a huge fan of it, but I don't really hate it. When it's when it's free shit from the solos, it's fine. But when it's, like, you, you when you get something bad, you're pretty pissed off. And the other thing is, these players that are in the game now, the highest they really you're most likely going to get ever from one of those packs is a 90 overall aka they're going to be useless a couple months later but you know it is what it is that's how ea is doing it this year comment down below if you like it or not oh, oh, oh. run that back bro run that back there was a magic ball there was a fucking magic ball that's nonsense that was a glitch in the game i'm not gonna clone the clip because you can run it back and also it was just kind of weird i don't know I don't really feel like it, but Tyra Taylor is going to throw a hot dot, and he's going to miss that tackle anyways. Yeah, this game is a prime example why you should stick it through the game. We've got two of our members on the team, and maybe that maybe that's why he's not able to call timeouts on defense, but now that I think about it, I don't know, but this is, you should definitely stick through the games. The one thing you're going to get from this game is the, like, you're going to get some wear and tear I guess on your men's skills that doesn't make any sense but like you're gonna get a you're gonna improve better you're gonna see what you're doing wrong where you mess up watch this right here look at the clock we've only got 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter and the acceleration is gonna take it to the end man I'm in tears right now I don't want to look at this I want to I had to have dinner but I wanted to play another game directly after just to get that sour taste out of my mouth man my heart, like, oh, my heart hurts after this one, man. This is the type of loss that takes a toll on the human being. We do have some solid defensive players, but we do take the L at the end due to the fact that my partners were not really paying attention, a.k.a. I'm sad. Please subscribe if you are new. Like the video if you enjoyed my commentary. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace!